is it that I want to say? Bueller. Bueller. As always, I want to start off by welcoming you back to my channel, or if you're new here, then hello and welcome. My name is Kara, and today we're going to be taking a look at my entire collection. Now, I have seen a few people do videos like this recently. Kelly Gooch and my friend Linda over at Glitter Fallout come to mind, where they have gone through and done a complete inventory. I actually did my inventory about a month ago, but never got around to filming about it, so... It appears I'm late to the game, that is okay. I actually went through at the very beginning of the year and did an inventory as well, but I never did anything with that. I just wrote the numbers down and then moved on from there after recovering from the mini stroke that writing all these numbers down gave me. So here's what I wanna do. I wanna talk about the numbers from January 1st, talk about the numbers from June 30th, now that it's the end of July, and then at the end of 2022, I plan on doing another inventory at that point. Now, in recent weeks, I have received some PR items, and so I honestly cannot remember if I received them before I did my inventory or after. So those are all gonna like work out in the wash when I do the end of the year inventory. So if they're not captured in this one, then the numbers are probably gonna go up for December. If they have been captured, then we shall see. So why don't we first, before we go through all the numbers, why don't we take a look at my collection, such as it is, as messy as it is. I have been trying, I have been, not, well, maybe not actively trying, but I have been planning on doing a makeup collection video for you guys for like a year at least but I'm always like, okay, only when everything is completely put away. And then I try to put everything away and I get very overwhelmed and I can get like one thing organized and then something else falls apart. And then I get that organized and this one's fallen apart. So I just figured, you know what? Fuck it. It is what it is. There is mess on the floor in my room. Not everything is put completely, you know, aesthetically pleasingly away. That was a weird way of saying that, but you know what I mean? So let's just take a look. All right, so when you walk in the room, you're met with this mess, which I keep meaning to clean up and then don't, so it is what it is. Those are the lights that I have set up, and then this is my tripod for overhead filming, which is a fairly new acquisition for me. Here is the current state of my desk. There is some amount of organization going on here. This is just stuff to be put away, these are empty and I need to throw them out. These are empty perfume samples as part of my project pan. This is basically my weekly makeup basket. That little basket over there contains all of my project pan items. This one is pretty much empty right now. I just need to figure out what I'm going to do with it. There are some items that I have done the B-roll for but I need to actually film with. Brushes live along that wall, along with pencil liners, liquid liners, and lip pencils. And then I just have some little um, plastic containers with like knick-knacky kind of stuff. This one here I've just finished doing B-roll filming with. It's the entire Kaleidos liquid lipstick collection that just arrived yesterday in the mail, so I just did the B-roll today. And then we've got this bookshelf here, so on the top I have most of my nail polishes and then I keep a little box here where I put stuff for my best friend and my other friend who's also really into makeup so I'll just set stuff aside there and then when I run into them I can give them those items and then this is the palette shelves or the palette bookcase I guess and then just some like earrings and stuff that just need to be put away I just have a little space where I put them I don't know why I have nail polish here probably because I was too lazy to stand up and put it up there is my guess. This basket is basically like new stuff that either I have just finished filming with and need to put away or I haven't yet filmed with it and I want to do like a month end roundup although I haven't done one of those in a while but at any rate that's what that basket is there for. And then more palettes down here and then this is like a catch-all just disaster on that bottom shelf I need to figure that out and then we've got 
my phone charging, and then this little swivelly guy here for lipsticks. I just took out the Kaleidos lipsticks and housed them in that container that I've already showed you. This, I'm not even going to show you the floor. The floor is a disaster. As you can see, there's cords everywhere. So then, let's get into the top drawer here. So this is all powder blushes uh, and powder highlighters. And then I've got like just some samples that I've actually been using, but just wanted to keep them in with all their brethren. So that is that top drawer. And then, oh, I gotta get my leg out of the way. The next drawer, I just keep some random hair accessories in here and then all of my like little mini palettes live in here and then go back a little bit further. There's, I don't have any makeup housed behind this container. Um, so that's just empty space back there. Next drawer down, I have foundations in here and then liquid highlighters, liquid blushes and uh, bronzers. They all live here. I don't think there's anything. No, there's nothing else behind them. Just some empty space as well. It's not the prettiest of drawers, but it's functional, so it works. And then they just get progressively messier as we go down. So there's a bunch of hair bands in here, um, fake nails. I honestly need to do a better job with this, but at any rate, there is what that looks like. And then this is, again, just a catch-all drawer here. So we've got some stuff that... I am waiting to rehome some other headbands and then just some sponges that only my daughter uses. Then if we swing over to this side, you get a slightly closer look of the brushes and all that kind of stuff. Again, it's just kind of controlled chaos. Like I know what all this stuff is. I just haven't finished filming with it yet to put it away. But here we go, top drawer. We've got concealers here, primers, lip balms, mascaras, eyebrow products, and then eyeshadow primers, and then just like nail files and just some random other crap in there. This one is, I think my favorite drawer because it is so organized and contained. I really like that. And then next one down, we've got setting sprays, setting powders, face palettes, and then most of my bronzers uh, are contained in here. A couple more face palettes over in that side there. And then we've got the lipstick drawer here. So liquid lipsticks and glosses, most of them are housed in this little container that I can just lift out. And then bullet lipsticks, as you can see, are pretty much organized by brand at any rate. And then the next drawer are single shadows and potted gel liners. And then these are um, single shadows that are magnetized, so these are my Cleona ones. And then I've got Adept down here, and some various other ones. There's some, um, oh, who is it? NARS are in here. And I'm not even gonna get into the bottom drawer because it's just like random knick-knacky shit and I can't even open it. It's just like stuff that I need to go through. So, and then just swimming schedules, various nail polishes, and just other random crap down there. And there we go. I have now broadcast my shame in all of its glory. I am a messy person. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. So now let's go through the actual inventory. So I'm going to start with the January figures. Am I going to do it that way? No, you know what? Here's how we're going to do it. I'm going to say the category, how many I had in January, how many I had at the end of June, because otherwise you have to remember like 25 different numbers and that's not going to happen. So January 1st, primers, I had 10. June 30th, I had 12. So obviously a bit of an increase there. Now I'm counting minis as well, like deluxe samples as items. I, it just became far too complicated for me to try to be like breaking it down into all these like micro categories. So we're just using broad, big envelopes, envelopes, umbrellas. What? Moving on from there, we have foundations. Again, big umbrella. So we're not talking like specifically um, like skin tints, specifically powder or anything like that. Just all things foundation, they're lumped in here. So January 1st, I had 24. June 30th, I had 25. That is not terrible. That is only an increase of one and I am okay with that. But still 25 foundations is like stupid. <laughs> like, why 
why do I have 25 foundation? I don't need 25 foundations. Regardless, I could say that about literally every single category. So let's move on from there. Concealers, I had 22 in January. I had 29 in June. In my defense, concealer is like, it's my baby. I do not feel dressed if I don't have concealer on. Even if it's literally the only thing that I wear, I'm just very self-conscious about my dark circles. So concealer, I am constantly on the hunt for like the perfect concealer. So I love trying them out. So that accounts for the increase by seven. Then we move on to setting powders. I had nine at the beginning of the year and now I have eight. So yay. Uh, finishing powders. So yeah, there's a little bit of a breakdown there. I could have just said powder, but regardless, finishing powders in specific, I had six, I have six. So again, we're good in that category, at least as far as I'm concerned. Bronzers, I had nine, I now have 11. Blush. Blush I had 20, and now I have 33. So here's where I think I have counted the, the items that I received in PR because I received all of the blushes that Kaleidos released and all of the blushes that um, Odin's Eye recently released as well. So combined, I think that was about 10 blushes right there. So I'm pretty sure that I did account for them in this inventory, I lost the word, uh, but December will uh, flesh it all out, I guess. Okay, highlighters as well. I received all of the highlighters from Odin's Eye, so again, that kind of accounts for this. I had 22 at the beginning of the year, and I now have 31. It's a lot of highlighter. It's a lot, a lot of highlighter. Cream bronzers. Okay, so I guess here I did break them down to powder and cream. Uh, just go with me on this. I don't know why I did it this way. Cream bronzer, I had three. I now have five. Cream blush, I had 17. Now I have 23. And then cream highlighters, I had two and I now have four. Again, I am counting minis in there. Face palettes, I had 15. I now have 13. So I decluttered two along the way. Brows, I had 11 different items. I now have eight because I have used some up. Setting sprays, again, I, this isn't something that I buy a lot of. I like to go through and finish them before I replenish. So I had eight, I now have four. Eyelid primers, I had 12 and now I have 10. Eyeshadow palettes, I had 176. I now have 194. That's an obscene amount of eyeshadow palettes to own. Granted, I love them. That's a lot. Okay, single shadows. So with singles, not only am I talking about like ones that are in their own individual pot, but I'm also talking about singles from places like Makeup Geek and things of that sort, as well um, depotted eyeshadows. I'm counting those as single shadows as well. So January 1st, I had 431 single eyeshadows. I did a massive declutter, I now have 244, which is still a ridiculous number when you, when you add that to the 194 palettes, but I'm gonna round out my thoughts on my collection at the end, so I'll stop talking about that now. Eyeliners, liquid and gel, I had 25 and I now have 40, and I do credit Odin's Eye again because they sent me their package of 15 gel sort of a gel pencil hybrid. Um, they sent me 15 of those, so there is the increase right there. And then traditional pencil eyeliners, I had 34 and now I'm at 32. They take forever to get through, like absolutely forever, so I don't plan on buying anymore anytime soon. Mascaras, I had 16, I now have 15. Lip pencils, I had 28, I'm down to 26. Bullet lipsticks, I did a big declutter here. So bullet lipsticks, I had 132 at the beginning of the year, and I now have 70. And liquid lipsticks, I had 95, I now have 50. And lip glosses, I had 62, and I now have 36. So I did a very large declutter, and I really feel like I could do another one because having 150 different lip products is wild. 
Now the last category that I have in here is lip balm. I had 11 and I now have 10. So in total, at the beginning of January of 2022, I had 1,200 different makeup items. January, or sorry, June, wow, June 30th, I had a total of 939. So when you count out your collection and the numbers are as staggeringly high as they are, it kind of puts things into perspective. At least it did for me. And I haven't bought a lot of makeup this year and that's because 1,200 items at the beginning of January. I have my bases covered. Right now when I buy stuff, it's, you know, if a new concealer comes out, I buy it not because I need a concealer, but because I want to test that formula and I want to share my thoughts on it with you. When I buy a new foundation, it's not because I need a foundation, it's because I want to do a review and share my thoughts on it with you guys. Eyeshadows, a little bit different. Those will get me because of the color story and lipsticks as well. Sometimes I just like to try out a new formula or it's a shade that I don't think I have, although I probably do. So those like color cosmetics are a little bit different, but I do find that I am being far more selective and I'm really just sort of taking the time. I'm adding it to my loves list or I'm bookmarking the site and then I'm just letting it ride. Like I'm just letting it go for a few days and then really coming back and really critically thinking, do I need this channel or not? Do I need to bring this into my collection? Is it filling some hole that is already existing? And like 9.9 .9 times out of 10, I don't need it. And then when I really look at say the color story of a, of a eyeshadow palette, when I really am objective about it, most times I'm able to talk myself out of buying it as well because it's just a color story that I know I'm really not gonna get much use out of. And that is one thing I, I justify so many purchases, or at least I did in the past, was saying, I'm gonna get so much use out of this. When you have almost 200 eyeshadow palettes, you're not getting that much use out of it, regardless of whether it's the perfect, the absolute perfect color story for you. Either you're only gonna use that one and then the rest of them are languishing, or you're cycling through and using other ones and you're not using that one. At least that's how I look at it now. I didn't always. At one point, my goal was to amass a massive collection. <laughs> I think we can check that off the list. Mission accomplished. Now it's time to whittle it back down. And so I'm just finding that buying makeup right now just doesn't really spark that sense of excitement that it used to. And that's not to say that, you know, I'm going to go completely minimalist. I'm going to just get rid of everything in my collection and never buy makeup again. I'm on a no buy, anything like that. I'm not on an official no buy. I'm not on a low buy. I don't have a budget. I haven't said you can only buy so many number of whatevers in a month. I haven't set any rules around it. This is all just coming from an internal source that I can't quite put my finger on. I'm just not feeling the need to bring in anything else right now. And again, that's not to say that I'm not going to. So there are certain things that I will buy and I will share my thoughts on them with you. But I've said this in a previous video, I'm just, I'm moving away from being primarily reviews. It just doesn't, it just doesn't make me happy right now. And maybe the pendulum will swing again and I'll get right back into that. But I just don't feel the need to buy every eyeshadow palette that's released. And I know that some of you really appreciate my reviews and really enjoy hearing my thoughts on things. And I'm sorry if that disappoints you that you probably won't get a review from me on a multitude of different releases, but that's just the way it is right now. Because ultimately at the end of the day, I am the one spending the money on them. I do receive PR from some brands and I'm incredibly grateful for that. I truly, truly am, especially Kaleidos and Odin's Eye because I really do love their products. But when I'm spending all this money, even when I receive it in PR, I still have to keep it and I still have to house it or I have to find somebody else to give it to and it just doesn't make an awful lot of sense for me right now to spend 50 to to $100 on an eyeshadow palette just for the sake of saying whether I like it or not and then getting rid of it or trying to get rid of something else to find room for that. Like I'm, I'm good. I don't want to go back above a thousand items. So 
it just, yeah, it just isn't really like fulfilling me right now in the way that it used to. That's not to say I don't love makeup. I still wear it basically every single day. I love just playing with it, just swatching it. I love looking at what I have. I love trying out different like formulas and all that. I love rediscovering things that are already in my collection, but I just don't feel the need to go out and buy a ton of other stuff. And when you look at that, like what was the number? 900, 939. So, I mean, what's the average cost of a makeup item? Even if we said very conservatively, what, like $10? Like, absolutely that's not the case, but even $20? Like, that's thousands of dollars of makeup just sitting here, and then I'm gonna go and spend more to make it even harder to get through what I have and to make, you know, every, let's call it a lipstick, every lipstick that I bring in that sort of translates to less use per lipstick that I already have. You know what I mean? Like if if I was to rotate through them all, it's gonna take me forever, months, to get through the rotation just once. So it, I don't really know what the entire point of this is, except for me to say I love makeup and I love my collection, but at the same time, it brings with it this sense of being overwhelmed because there are so many things to choose from. And also it brings a sense of guilt as well because I've spent so much money amassing a collection of cosmetics. And that's not to say that it's frivolous or trivial. It certainly has brought me no end of joy, but I'm good at the moment. I don't really, I don't really feel like going out and buying a ton of other stuff. Again, I'm not saying that I'm going on a no buy and I'm not going to buy anything, but you're probably gonna see a decline in terms of the number of reviews that I do, and that's just gonna have to be okay because I'm in control of what I buy and I just don't plan on buying a lot right now. So, there's that, I guess. Like, I. <laughs> The Canadian in me really wants to apologize for that. However, I'm not going to because I don't really think it's something to apologize for. It just sort of is what it is. So moving forward, at least in the immediate future, I predict some declutter videos coming out. Again, I love my collection, but you know, especially with blushes and highlighters, I've run out of space for them. I literally don't have enough space in the drawers to store them, so I have them sitting in random baskets all over the place. Like, that's a very clear indicator to me that I need to go through and do a declutter. I mean, the other option is I could buy more storage, but that's really not the solution that I'm looking for at this point. I really do want to whittle it down. I don't have a goal number in mind. I'm not gonna say, okay, I'm gonna cut it in half. I'm just not, I'm not putting any pressure like that on myself. I'm just gonna go through sort of category by category and it might not be every category. I know I've already filmed the blush declutter so I know that I've gone through that one. I intend to go through highlighters and bronzers. With eyeshadow palettes, although I do have a ton, I don't predict doing a video like I have in the past where I bring all of the eyeshadow palettes out and show every single one of them on camera as I go through the process of decluttering, if only because they're all relatively well organized right now and I really don't want to you know, upset the apple cart. So I might just look at the shelves and see any standouts that I know I haven't used in months upon months and really decide that way. And then if I do a declutter video, it's really just gonna be me showing you the items that I have chosen to declutter, not the process of decluttering. But for the smaller categories, I will very likely do dedicated videos of foundations, concealers, blushes, things of that sort. So that's all I have to say at this point. I feel like I've said the same thing over and over again, but let me know. What, what does your collection look like? Is it in a good spot? Do you wanna grow it? Do you wanna shrink it? Do you wanna just sort of maintain where you're at? What are your feelings on new releases right now? Is it something that like you're hanging on every new release and getting really excited about it? Or are you feeling kind of like me where you're just a little bit apathetic towards it all? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments, but for now, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, I ask that you consider doing so. But for now, I'm gonna say goodbye and I will see you in my next video. Until then, just be a decent human being. Bye for now.